Welcome back. This is your third WCPS Twitter session, and today we're going to talk about creating a tweet, retweeting, and the difference between hashtags and at replies. So let's get started with our first tweet. So when you're ready to send out your tweet, you're going to come up to your What's Happening box and click in it. And you'll notice that you're starting off with 140 characters. So I'm going to put in there, let's have a great week, WCPS. And you'll notice that I've dropped down now to I only have 111 characters left. So it looks like I used 29 of them if my math is correct. I'm going to hit tweet. And what's going to happen is it's going to show up on my feed as well as anyone who follows me's feed. Okay, so that's how you create a quick tweet. Now, let's talk about retweeting. I'm going to scroll down. And let's say I was very interested in what Chris Klein put out there about earning PD points. It says earn PD points and or graduate credit while learning about the Google Apps. Well, that's great. I think some people would enjoy that, so I would like to retweet it. When I'm ready to retweet Richard's post, I have some options. I can either reply to his post, I can retweet it, I can favor it, and then there's a more button, which we'll discuss later on. So I want to retweet, so I'm going to hover over the second option and click on retweet. And it's going to ask me, do I want to add a comment with it? So I'm going to put, this could be a great opportunity. Notice that it did subtract my characters. I only have 140 to work with. I'm going to click on Tweet. And it tells me my tweet was posted. If I scroll up to the top of my feed, there it is. Our final item of discussion tonight is the difference between hashtags and at replies. So a hashtag is what we old timers call the pound sign, and you young timers are now calling it a hashtag. It looks like this. Okay, and if I were to say hashtag WCPSMDChat, I can't wait for Tuesday's Twitter chat. Be there or be square. Okay, I'm going to tweet that. And you'll notice that the WCPS MD chat is highlighted in blue. That's because it started with the hashtag. The hashtag is just simply a word or phrase immediately preceded by the pound symbol. And when you click on a hashtag, you'll see other tweets that contain the same keyword or topic. When you're ready to check out all of the hashtags that contain the words or phrase you're looking for, you can find them in one of two ways. You can either find a post that has it on it, or you can search Twitter for it as well. So I'm going to search hashtag WCPSMDChat, enter, and what we should see on our next page are all the chats that do indeed have WCPSMDChat hashtagged in it, and they are going to be from the latest things that happened recently to things that happened long ago. If you scroll down, you will find examples of WCPS Twitter chats that, were ha that happened in the past. Remember, they happen the first and third Tuesdays of every month at 8 o'clock. They're a fabulous way to gain information on technology and just what's going on in Washington County Public Schools. All right, so that's hashtags. Let's talk about the at replies. I'm going to go back to my home screen. Your at sign is used to call out usernames. So if I wanted to call out Jamie Hayde, I could come up to my, my tweet box, type in at Jamie Hayde. There he is. And say, don't forget that we have a Twitter chat this week. 
he is going to kill me for all of these tweets that I'm putting out there with his name in them. But when I hit tweet, it's going to show up on my feed and he's going to get a notification that I called him out. Um, so these are called at replies. So again, the difference between a hashtag and an at reply. Hashtags precede your word or phrase that you want to look up and it allows you to look up something that you're interested in like the WCPS MD chats. Your at signs allow you to call out people. Okay, and it's just the at sign in front of somebody's name as shown. So just as a recap, in addition to talking about hashtags and replies, we've also talked about creating tweets and retweeting. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let your instructional technology specialist know, and I'll see you for our next Twitter session. Thanks for watching.